Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, I don't know what's going on in Ohio. This is the second video that I have done in one day about Ohio. And it was nothing personal, my people in Ohio. So please, pretty please, forgive me. But anyway, we have a very sad story. Yes, a lot of them be sad. Very few be glad. But the truth must be told. You know, it don't matter if it's a person. It don't matter if it's a police. It don't matter... What the hell it is, wherever injustice is, I'll be there. When you're looking behind your back and you're thinking about doing something wrong, I'll be there. When you go in the bathroom, you're about to drop some loads. I won't be there. But anyway, we have a crazy story coming out of Ohio. And thanks to the person who reached out to me, because when I first heard about it, I'm like, wow, you know, you hear so many different stories of neglect in these nursing homes. You hear about them not changing the per the people uh I don't want to say diapers or whatnot, uh depends or whatnot. Uh you also hear them about them not feeding them. Some of them even jump on the people, break their nose and arms and whatnot. And some of them just sit there and won't even clean them, won't wipe them down, won't change their bandages or anything else. And that's the case in this story right here. Where you have a group of nurses, several of them done got fired, but a lot of the ass and got charged because the damn Ohio attorney general had to step in you know it's some shit going down when a attorney general has to step in and basically you had one person there had gangrene died of septic shock and you know what septic mean you know what shock mean you have to keep those bandages changed you have to keep those those wounds the infections cleansed at all time they were even cleaning this person or whatnot and the man died they had another woman there that they wasn't taking properly care of and she's real sickly also, but they try to cover it up the best way they could. But lo and behold, no, you really can't do that. And good thing to the person, family who spoke out about this and also the news for catching on to this. I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely as we go, a nursing home patient rotted to death. The gangrene, you know, it, it pretty much rot, rot your skin. Under nurses care, Ohio attorney general says, and thank you to the person who sent this. And also, I think it's just like a uh, a sister coming. I don't know if it's two Westons in uh, Ohio. You all can let me know. But you have one that's good. Uh, but the one I'm talking about is on, I think, River Road. This is the one we're talking about because I think it's two of them. So I'm not talking about all of the Western care facilities. It's the one on River Road that we shine a spotlight on. Now, current and former employees of an Ohio nursing facility are accused of mistreating two patients in their care, including... One who died as a result of the nurse's actions, but really lack of action. Attorney General Dave Yost said Thursday, a Franklin County grand jury indicted seven people who worked as nurses in 2017 at Western Gardens in Care Center in Columbus, Yost said in a news conference. The defendants faced 34 charges, yes, rack them up on them, including involuntary manslaughter and patient neglect. Yost's office said, and you would think when most people become a nurse or a doctor or whatever, but in this case, we're talking about the nurses, uh, caretakers, you would think that they have compassion in their heart. Just like we would think about school teachers, they would love children, they would love to teach, but some of them be there for other sinister reasons. So you would think when you see somebody in a nurse uniform or, uh, you know, at these places, that they're very sweet, nurturing people, but some of those people there just for a check, period, point blank. They too lazy to go get a other job. Or go find something that they wouldn't mind doing. So they pick these jobs where they can just write down, make up records, which they did in this case. Like they changed the person. You have sign-in sheets. You have write-off sheets. You write down what's going on. So you have like a log that you keep. And they're just making up anything. They in there watching damn TV all them day long. Yeah, I took Miss Sue out to walk. I changed uh, Miss Sue, uh, depends or whatnot. Uh, I bathed Miss Sue and ain't did a damn thing. Now, one patient literally rotted to death. Damn, that got to be a hard, painful death. As a di direct, excuse me, result of the nurse's neglect, Yo said, adding that another suffered physical harm because nurses falsified her medical records in forged signatures. So basically just telling a flat out damn lie. And I'm glad that they have got charged because that could be me or you. And one thing about it, people must understand, if you plan to live, you're going to get old one day. Period, point blank, you're going to get old. So if you act like this don't want to affect you, live long enough. One day it will because not everybody, your children or whatnot. What if your children die? What if your family uh disown you? You know, what if they just turn it back on you or whatnot? You're going to have to be on your own, period, point blank. So just because we're not elderly yet 
does not mean that if we live long enough, this cannot be me and you. So we need to try to correct this stuff while we can. And true enough, we can't change everything. But, you know, one thing at a time. This is gut-wrenching for anyone who has entrusted a care facility with the well-being and safety of a loved one, the Attorney General said. And it's very true. The accused include six current, still got nerd enough to be there, and former employees in a contracted certified nurse. According to online court records, they have not entered pleas and no attorneys were listed for them. But it's damn serious when you got the Attorney General coming at you. Who want those problems? A spokesman for Western said it's it has been, excuse me, cooperating with law enforcement since concerns arose two years ago. So it's always been concerns. And from what I heard, it always been, well, for a long time, neglect at this care facility. That's why you people, if you have somebody, it's like I said in the story about the guy in jail. If you have somebody in jail, okay, go check on them. If you have family, friends or whatnot in these nursing homes, these care facilities, go check on them people. True, some of them may have dementia, Alzheimer's. They may not even remember you or whatnot. But still, though, when you feel better knowing that you went there in person, whether they know you there or not, just to check on them. And I guarantee you this. If you go check on them, those people, those nurses and those workers, those managers, supervisors will make sure your loved one is taken care of better because they know one damn thing. You got their eye. You know, you got your eye on them, period. So if they see these people, because they know who's coming to visit who, they know who's getting checked on or whatnot. And those are the people that are more quick to take advantage of, you know, because who cares about them? Period, point blank. Who's going to listen to a person who they consider senile, dementia, Alzheimer's? Think about that for a second. Does that make sense? Now, four employees were admittedly fired for falsifying the second patient's records, just up their line, just getting a damn paycheck. And that's a huge slap to the face to all the good nurses and doctors out here who practice in the medical field, who have love for patients, who just love human beings, period. Now, spokesman Ryan uh, told the CNN network, but Weston strongly disagrees with accusations that its employees were responsible for the other patient's death, said the news. How you all going to disagree when it's proof? The proof is the death, period. How can you dispute that? I don't understand that part. If the man had gang green and you weren't changing his bandages and, and taking care of him properly, cleansing them sores out because you got to clean it. Also, you got to be careful. Because people that have gangrene, you bumping something, it spreads or whatnot. You know, it's it's really bad, period. You're getting your limbs cut off or whatnot. That's the proof right there. He's not here no more because he was not being properly taken care of. But Weston strongly disagrees with the accusations, just like I guess they're supposed to. Now, two employees accused of manslaughter were suspended pending the outcome of the investigation. He said the contracted certified nurse is no longer at the facility. He said, but why did it take the attorney general in the news and social media to bring this to the spotlight? Why can't people just do right, period, point blank? But this goes to show you, most people would not do right unless you got your eye on them the whole damn time. And that's a sad situation because you're playing with people's lives and loved ones. That's sad. Nobody is going to send their loved one unless they don't give a damn about them. And true, some kids don't. Let's be honest. Some kids don't give a damn about their mom, their dad, or whoever in the in, the, in the, uh, these care facilities. Some of them people don't even be old. You know, some of the people being in their early 50s and 60s and stuff, you know, and the children just give them away so easily. I don't understand that. And what if your parents would have gave your ass away like that? How would you like that? Let's go and continue before somebody get mad. Now, he says, got to do damage control. It's truly a tragedy. Anytime one of our residents dies, he said, we are confident that this man's tragic death was not the result of neglect. At our facility. That's like a slap in the damn face. That's just like if somebody shoots you in your ass and you die from an ass shot and they standing right over you telling you, you're going to make it. But you can see that light getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until your ass just croak on up out of here. Damn, it, knocked my damn head off my head until it just get dimmer and dimmer. And next thing you know, your ass dead. Die believing them. They'll tell you any damn thing. Anyway, the face, the first person developed wounds on his body in February of 2017 that progressed to gangrene in necrotic tissue. So how did he develop gangrene in this facility, which is supposed to have been clean? Now, Yo said, that's the attorney general, nurses delayed bringing him to a hospital. Why did you not take the man straight to the hospital? Where he died on March the 5th, 2017 from septic shock. You know what septic means, right? As a result of the wounds, three defendants were indicted on charges of involuntary manslaughter 
gross patient neglect and patient neglect. Yo said they are accused of falsifying uh, medical records and taking appropriate steps that could have saved his life. So basically, they didn't give a damn about this man, period, point blank. And that's a sad situation. They should suffer the same fate he suffered. Inject their ass with some damn gang green. Now, Weston disagrees that the treatment provided by employees caused his death. They still denying this shit. How are you going to deny when the man is not here? Period, point blank. That's just like if somebody said you stole some money from somebody and they reach in your pocket and they grab the money and you still sit there saying, I ain't steal it. I ain't steal it. I, ain't know, I don't know how they got there. It's a ghost in here. Let's finish up. Now, they do more damage control. He says, there are a lot of circumstances around that gentleman in his untimely passing. Listen to how he talk about this man that died in their care. There is a lot of circumstances around that gentleman. Basically, Blaming him for his own death when he's at the mercy of them. We are confident that once those things come out, it will be clear the care that he was provided at Weston did not contribute to his death. Well, if that's the damn case, then, I mean, I don't know what else to damn say. We just might as well just cut the damn TVs off right now and just be prepared to let people do us any damn way. Now, the second patient, patient excuse me, suffered physical harm as a result of inadequate care because the nurses falsified her medical records also said the attorney general not the trey king show not no other youtuber but the damn attorney general said this can't say i'm speculating a damn thing now the patient's medical records contain false information and forged signatures of nursing staff so they were basically probably signed each other damn signature probably staying at home the whole damn time or some way else they'll clock in or whatever and go shopping and come back later on and just walk in there peep in and walk out an investigation found that the patient's medical file listed care at times when the patient was not physically present at the facility basically just writing it in there and she wasn't even down at the facility those times as soon as as it happened we did an immediate this damage control, this is what this Western now. He says, as soon as it happened, we did an immediate review and fired the people who broke our rules and our trust. Said Western. Five nurses were indicted on charges including forgery and gross patient neglect. The patient later died, but no one faces charges related to the death. Ain't that sad right there? That's man, that's pitiful. Now these victims were completely Dependent on others for day-to-day -day care. What is wrong with the damn world? Well, people don't understand. It's like people just don't give a damn no damn more. They come. People bring their loved ones, whether they're trying to get rid of them or not, to you because you provide a service. you in the service of what? Health care. Remember, health and care. Put that together. So they care about your health. They didn't bring them there for you to let them die and don't even change them and clean them which their families trust in Winston Gardens to provide. Instead of providing debt care, evidence shows these nurses forced the victims to endure awful mistreatment and then lied about it, said the Attorney General. I will leave the link to the description below so you all can go check that out. Let me know what you all think about that. But like I said about the guy that died in prison mysteriously, check on your loved ones in prison. Also, if you got loved ones in nursing home facilities, you, I'm sure you can make out time. You can make out time to watch these empires, these shows, Love and Hip Hop or whatever, whatever you watch. Dukes of Hazzard, who cares? Go check on your loved one. At least you just go pop in there at least once a month or once every other month, period. Whether they know you there or not, but you want to make sure those nurses, those supervisors, those managers, even a janitor know you there and that if anything happened to your loved one, you will hold them accountable period let me know what you all think about the video if you like the video push that like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel definitely share this video with your family and friends and go check on your loved ones period point blank i'm out